Hi guys, welcome to the sixth part of Angular 16 crash course. And in this part, I'm going to be talking about very important topic called pipes. And I've created a new Angular 16 project and it has this variable only. And I've removed everything from the template and this is being rendered through interpolation. And you can see this is the text being rendered from here. All right. And piping is actually used to modify the content through interpolation. Let's say that we don't want to modify the content. It can be the string, integer, decimals or any kind of data. And through piping, we want to modify the data directly in our HTML through pipes. All right. So let's get started. First of all, we have this string in the title and let's say we want to make this text uppercase or lowercase and the piping is done through this pipe if you have done some kind of system programming you know that we used piping in that so we have the keywords like the uppercase or the lowercase now if i save it you will see that it will be converted into the uppercase and if i make it lowercase you will see that it will become all the lowercase and similar to that we have different pipes for the other points like the decimals integers so let's create few of the variables inside it and uh, i'm going to actually create the date first so i'm going to write the today number equals to new we can have the date dot now all right so let's first print this out what it prints actually so in our template we are going to print this so i'm first going to create the dev to make it inside the container and uh, i'm going to write that today is if i print this variable today through interpolation there seems an error today is not found there is a spelling mistake so i'm just going to save it now you can see that the by default the time is being shown like this in a long integer so we can use the pipe to actually convert this into the meaningful format so i'm just going to copy this paragraph and i'm going to paste over here so let's say i want to convert and it into the actual date so i can write the date pipe and now you can see that it has actually shown me the august 23 2023 this is the current date now there are different more params that we can pass along with the piping so let's say that we have this date and uh, we want to actually fetch the full date so we can use the colon and within the single quotes or double quotes we can pass different keywords like the full date here and if i save it now you can see that it has actually shown me the day as well and also the August complete word. And there are multiple different variables. You can check out the documentation of piping that can work with the date actually. Um, and we can have the pipes for uh, actually printing out the time as well. And if we see this particular data, let me zoom in this one. It actually contains the time as well. So if I want to fetch the time, so let's say that I want to write the HH MMSS. This is for the two digits for hours, two digits for minutes and two digits for the seconds. If I save it, you will see that it is going to print the current time in my system and uh, this is how i can format it if i remove one edge you will see that uh, it will not do anything but if there is some kind of zero one or zero two then it's going to only show the two three and removing the zero but um, let's say that i only want to print one s add this to remove the zeros whether it can be from the hours minutes or the seconds but currently there is no zero that's why it has keeping all the digits of this time all right so that's for the time for the date and we have talked about the string as well now let's talk about the piping available for the currency variable so for that let's create a new variable and i'm going to name it currency and it is of type number equals to let's say that i want to add 1.3495 okay and any decimal i want to add now let's go to our html and inside date i'm going to actually output that so i'm going to use the p tag and uh, through interpolation i can use the variable currency let's print this out so you can see on the right side it has printed and i'm going to use the pipe for this currency 
and uh, the pipe name is currency as well so if i save it you will see that it has actually shown the dollar and uh, it has actually keeping all the uh, two digits only after this decimal point so this is done default we can actually modify this so i'm going to copy that and just like i pass these params to the state i can actually pass different params to this currency as well so let's say that i want to pass the usd it is by default dollar so you will not see any difference but i can actually pass the other symbols like the euro so eur if i save it you will see that i can change uh, different uh, currency types using this params and i can pass um, any kind of string property to this currency okay and along with this i can actually add multiple columns and add multiple values to it so let's say that uh, i want to show the symbol but it's already being shown so let's save it currently you will, will not see any different the symbol uh, is not one value we need to actually pass the second param to it so this one currency equals to euro and the symbol equals to something that we want to pass it means that how many decimals we want to keep after the digits after the decimal point so i'm going to write the two dot and one hash four okay let's see what happens so if I save it, you will see that uh, we have actually modified this currency and we have added zero before one because we have added two. Two means that there has to be at least two digits before the decimal point and there has to be four digits after the decimal points. So if I keep it one, it will keep 1.3 and it will remove zero so this is how we can modify the currency add different symbols and add different uh, uh, params to it uh, by just modifying it the how many times we want to add the digits before or after the decimal point and along with this currency we have another pipe this is called the percentage pipe so i'm gonna go in the component and inside it uh, let's say that uh, we already have this value the currency and we can directly use this variable to actually show it in our html so i'm going to go come here and i'm going to print the currency and uh, using this pipe i can actually pass the percentage variable the keyword actually all right so it does not exist it's not the percentage it's only the percent actually so let's save it now you can see that we have actually passed this percent and it has automatically added this icon and just like we have modified this currency using this one dot one hash four we can also add that uh, by adding the percentage colon and something over here uh, you can try this out yourself but uh, for now uh, i've shown you different types of pipes that we can use but let's say that there is some pipe that we want to use but that's not available in angular there is a way that we can create our own custom pipe as well and i'm just going to show you that how we can create that and then I'll be using that custom pipe in our component so for creating custom pipe we actually need to create a file within extension dot pipe dot ts but there is a way that we can use the angular cli built-in commands to create the pipe file and its testing file as well so if you remember at the start of the crash course i showed you that how we can install the angular cli and once we install angular cli we can use the ng command and we can create the component using this keyword we can create services pipes directives or anything else it provide okay Okay, so ng if I show you we have the ng installed because we have created the angular project using the angular CLI directly okay so here I'm going to actually use the ng and then I can write the generate keyword and after that I can write the pipe keyword okay and then I can name the pipe which I want to create okay I want to create a new folder pipes it will be created within the app folder of this angular project and then i'm going to name this pipe append i want to actually append 
append one string with another string with the dynamic data which I'll be passing to this custom pipe and now I will hit enter now you will see that there is a new folder pipes have been created and inside it the append pipe have been created the benefit of creating such kind of files using the angular CLI commands that it will automatically create the files its respective files and automatically add some kind of required code inside it which we don't need to add when we use and create such kind of files using angular CLI and when we create any pipe over here we also need to add its reference in our app.module.ts file and this is another benefit that it is automatically done when we create the piping file using the ng command okay you can see that it has been imported and it has been added over here in the declaration array as well all right so everything is set up because we have created this pipe file directly in our um, um in or using the terminal actually all right so we only need to actually uh, modify this transform we can actually receive the value which will be passed so the value is referring to actually this one so the percentage pipe is actually receiving this currency value and then we can actually pass the value and then what we want to append after that so the current value and then we can actually pass the appended value the new value we want to append with it okay this is the short example we can create a large complex pipe as well but i'm just going to show you uh, the simplest version of it okay and after this we can actually uh, add the type of it so let's say we will be adding the type of string this is the uh, data which we will be passing and then i can actually pass the append text it will be of type string as well return type will be string as well and then from this return first of all let's add the validation let's say that uh, if the value exists uh, and if the value is equals to null then we are just going to simply return the value okay uh, then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to actually apply append the value with the appended text this is the simple example now let's save it and i can actually use this pipe which is called append okay whatever we write over here we this is the name of that pipe because we are using this pipe decorative now let's come in our html it will be automatically available in all the components because this pipe is added in our module file and this is the main parent module file it means it will be available in all the components so i'm going to come here and i can actually use any of the variable added in our component so let's say uh, we have this title let's try to use this variable rather than creating new one so in the terminal at the bottom i've actually made this terminal cleaner okay just writing the clear in the terminal it will hide everything uh, now let's try to use the h1 and i'm going to use the title and uh, i'll be using the pipe and here i'll be using the name of that pipe which is the append i just showed you this is the name okay and after that i can pass the new value which i want to append with this title okay so i can write the colon and the quotes double quotes or single quotes and here i can write anything so the custom since the name of the title is pipe so i would be printing the pipes custom so i'll just save let me run the project in the terminal so it should actually print the title value and then space custom so let's go ahead and refresh now you can see that it has actually printed and it is working perfectly fine let's save it i can write anything inside it and it will be updated over here and we can create these custom pipes with any logic we want if anything is not already available using this piping all right so in this video i've shown you how to use the built-in pipes and also how we can create the custom pipe and during this crash course when i'll be building the small to large projects or the assignments i'll be using and creating these pipes a lot because this is a very important when we are building large applications so that's it for this video if you have liked my video do subscribe my channel hit the like button comment below if you have any question